you get older, it gets more concerning, doesn't it, about the risk of getting dementia. And I'm lucky enough, my parents actually don't have dementia. It does run in my family. My uncle actually died of Alzheimer's and my auntie has got the sort of early stages of dementia. So it's becoming more of a concern for me. But did you know, and this is like really shocking, it's actually totally preventable. So I'm gonna get into it in this video. Hello fam, and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal, and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40, or like me, over 50, get in amazing shape. But we wanna be in good health not just on the outside, but on the inside. And I am talking about longevity. This is something that really concerns me as I get older and I'm 57 now. I don't wanna be a burden to my family, my younger family, my kids, my other relatives. And I want to enjoy a great quality of life when I get older. I was doing a bit of background research on dementia and I found this like really great article in the Times in the UK. I'm gonna link it in the description and it's all based on like scientific evidence that's come out and dementia for many people is actually totally preventable. That is shocking, isn't it? And I did not realize this. So I'm gonna talk about the key ways that you can prevent dementia. It's thought by some of the kind of scientists and the scientific studies that have been carried out that 40% of dementia is actually totally preventable. So it is worth implementing some of these things that I'm going to talk about. And these things actually come from a report published by the Lancet Commission in 2020. And as I make this video, they're actually just about to update that. So if I do find the update, I will link that in the description as well. So the first thing that you need to look at is your blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, you do need to put in lifestyle factors that actually bring your blood pressure down. And that is going to be one of the key areas that you can prevent dementia, which is really good news because I know that working with women who come to me with high blood pressure, if we implement exercise and the correct nutrition, you can totally bring that down. The next one is drinking alcohol. If you drink what is what we describe as 21 units in the UK, which is 50 small glances of wine, you are going to increase your risk of dementia by 20%. So cutting back on alcohol is key. Obesity, if you have a body mass index of more than 30, that's going to increase your risk of dementia by 60%. And then smoking, that's probably no surprise, but if you smoke, that's going to increase your risk of dementia by 60%. Just merely cutting out smoking is going to make a massive difference. Lack of exercise is going to increase your risk of dementia by 40%. And diabetes is going to increase your risk of dementia by 50%. That's like really significant. And we know that there's a strong correlation between insulin resistance and Alzheimer's. So it's really worth getting to on top of your blood sugar levels by monitoring your carbohydrates. And it doesn't mean completely cutting out carbohydrates. It's actually just about monitoring them, but cutting out things like white flour and refined sugar is gonna really help. There are kind of other social factors and things to do with like your mental health. So improving your mental health making sure that you're keeping yourself educated that sounds obvious doesn't it and not being socially isolated so in other words like keeping up your social life is really important if you've got depression your chances of getting dementia is going to increase by a whopping 90 percent so it's going to be really important that if you are depressed 
you actually address that. And one of the other shocking in things is that pollution is going to increase your chances of dementia by 10%. So the environment that you live in is really, really important. So I hope you found that video helpful. Let me know if there's some things that you've actually already implemented and it's going to make you feel a whole lot better because I know in terms of my lifestyle that I'm pretty much there with almost everything. I think the only thing for me is like making sure that I'm not like socially isolated. That's going to be really important for me, you know, and that I need to kind of like get out and continue to be social as I age and like forming friendships is going to be really important. I think that's the thing that I never, I absolutely want to work on, but it's actually reassured me that everything else pretty much on that list, I kind of already implementing. So it's really reassuring, but let me know your thoughts on this. Is this something you're concerned about or Perhaps it's like too far away and you're not really concerned about it. I know it does really concern me.